Supreme's Week 11 is finally bringing us what we've all been waiting for this entire season. Of course, I'm talking about these fancy denim shorts. <laughs> Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today we're going to go over the Supreme Week 11 drop list. That's right, we got a pretty decent-sized drop list early. As you can see, I do have a pretty big pile of things to go through and unbox for you guys. I'll see if I can coax the Lady Fauntleroy in helping me out and doing an unboxing. Ladies can do stuff now! And I'll try to get that video out to you guys over the weekend. I still owe you guys the visit that I did to round two. I will be editing that and hopefully getting that out to you guys over the weekend as well. Or sometime next week. Oh my god, who the hell cares? I've already obviously opened some of the new stuff I've got. Like, like this Half Evil shirt came in. I almost forgot about it. I feel like I ordered it a long time ago. I don't know why this was the only one I was really feeling on that particular drop. I also got the Magic Ink set in. Each of the little packages are individually wrapped with their own little Supreme branding. I think these are really neat. You know that we got the macaroni and cheese. We're gonna have to do a taste test of this at some point. I imagine it tastes a lot like macaroni and cheese. Got <laughs> I showed you guys the chapstick. I mean, it's, it's chapstick. It's not really that interesting. And then I have the paint deck here and I just unboxed it because I want to put it up on the wall. So there you go. And of course some Palace CK1. Oh! I'm putting that back. That's just a taste of the unboxing to come. Our good friend Drops has already laid out some estimated retail prices for this drop list. It's a decent sized list. Looks like a fair amount of items. Uh, you know what? Let's just take a look at it right now. All right, first off, we have this Touring Visor 6 panel. Um, I, I really kind of don't know what they were thinking with this thing. It probably would look all right if they would have put the words actually on the, the hat part and not on the visor, but I'm definitely not interested in it, and neither should you be. Word Bubble Jacquard Short Sleeve Top. Uh, just saying the name, we've spent too much time on it. Well, you guys know my love for denim shorts, and here we go, another set of denim shorts, and this time they're Gradient Jacquard Denim Shorts. I honestly can't tell you that I hate this pattern, but I definitely don't like it on shorts. I knew I was fucked. And if you get the shorts, you definitely have to grab the matching five panel, A. Eh? Even though you guys have it low on your list, I don't hate this hat as like a sleeper pickup. I think the black colorway definitely has some potential in this one, and maybe even the denim with the red supreme patch on it. But to be honest with you, I'm kind of digging that Laker vibe that the black one's giving off. Jump in, jump in, jump in, and boys up to something. Next up is this two-tone sweater. Um, honestly... Not really feeling this one. And then we have this fuck everything work shirt. Um, it looks just like a bowling shirt to me. And honestly, it is kind of cool. It has a little game over on the sleeve there. And it is just telling you, fuck everything for real. Damn, boy. And then you have the gradient jacquard denim work jacket to complete that whole fit. So you can get your denim shorts. You can get your denim jacket. And then you can get your hat. You don't need a shirt when you're wearing that outfit, that's for sure. Again, if you were going to gamble on this thing, I think the black one is probably your best bet. But probably your best bet would be to just not grab these at all. Like, just, just don't. Perforated camp cap. I don't need that. I need a hat that's unperforated to prevent things from getting into the hat. Like rain or sun. Anything. Ants. Anything. They're, it's perforated. It, it, it helps absolutely nothing that stretch crew neck isn't too bad it has a nice spell out on the back i can't say i really love all the colorway selections here but this red and gray one isn't too bad but again this is a crew neck so it, it's definitely going to be personals got these double knee denim utility pants my man larry gotta go after him larry you said you're sleeping these are some double knee utility pants I don't know how you can avoid these. And then coming in at number eight on the list are these Nike Air Zoom 95s. Really, guys? You hate them that bad? That's crazy. Number eight on the list. I mean, it's kind of disrespecting a Nike collaboration, to be honest with you. I don't disagree with the community really at all, though. I think this was a huge miss. I don't think anybody wants these shoes. And for some reason, I think they just assume they can throw a paisley pattern on something and people are going to love it. And then this, that little Supreme going around the circle in the back just kind of makes me want to vomit a little bit. <laughs> Zoom Air Flight 95s. Unnecessary shoe. We don't need those. You can keep them. If I can't talk you out of buying those shoes, though, I would say uh, going for the blue one is probably your move. You put shorts above the shoes, folks. You put shorts above these shoes. There's, there's no way that those shorts are a better buy 
than these shoes. Now this sweater is a Weirdo Dave sweater. I haven't been a big fan of the latest things that they've been putting out by Weirdo Dave. This one, however, I do like a lot. It says that it's all patches on the back, so that makes me like it even more. And then if you look at the front, it has a little box logo on it. So, I mean, I honestly think this is a really nice hoodie. I think this is a big time sleeper. I think grabbing this in an XXL is a really smooth move. <laughs> All right, so here's some Umbro track pants. Uh, I don't know. Probably not interested. All right, so the number three item on the Supreme community so far is the Umbro track jacket. Honestly, I think it's a pretty nice track jacket. He's saying that it's 148 That's not a bad price, to be fair. Honestly, if you can get big sizes in these, it might be a decent hold. I think anything jacket related right now in the summer season is, is going to be a hold, to be fair. You're just going to get more money for it when people actually need and want jackets. But 148 would be a really nice price point for any jacket from Supreme. And right now, in this moment in time, these batting gloves are my favorite item of the week. I, I think that you can't go wrong with these. Drops has these at a retail of $58. And his name is John C. I think that's a pretty decent retail. I can easily see these getting into the $100 range. I would be sticking to the black and the red colorways of these and the only reason I say don't get the white one is because the Supreme branding doesn't pop as much on them. I think the red gloves obviously will do really well, and I think the black gloves are wearable with everything. They can go with any team color. But like I said, as of this moment, I am all in these gloves. I'm going to use every account that I can and try to get a pair. Sometimes they say huge. And then finally, you guys and your damn pillows. Um, I, I do think these pillows are a really, really cool item. Wow. I don't know if it's worth it for you to jump in on these on the resale side. Now, I do think these are a decent item, and I, I do think that you'll be able to make a little bit of profit on them. But I honestly do think, assuming that they don't make just a ton of the batting gloves as well, that you're going to see a similar amount of profit on both of those items. So with the batting gloves being around 60 and the pillows being around 500 after taxes, it just makes more sense to me to be going after the gloves instead of the pillows. It's science. I don't even know if I'm going to be trying for them to be honest with you. I mean, I probably will at the end of the day because you know I'm a degenerate and I got to, but... I just honestly don't think it's worth it if you're just looking to resell them. If you look at StockX right now, the highest bid on these is not that great considering that they're really not out yet. But if you want them, you should get them. I don't want to discourage you to not get them. But I for sure don't think that you should be going all in on these pillows if that's the only money that you have to spend. Because I think you might have to hold them for a little bit just to make sure you get some good profit on them. Can't you just feel it, Harry? It's our big chance, man. <laughs> All right, there you go. Kind of a quick rundown of the items that have been released so far. Not the greatest list that we've seen by far, but there are a couple of cool items like those pillows and, of course, my favorite, the batting gloves. I will definitely be getting you guys another video this week about my final thoughts on this drop list in general. But until then, if you need your Fauntleroy fix, you should check out these videos right here. Damn, I knew you were tripping. We could have been superstars. Remember when we were jacking cars?